A sore booty today is a strong body tomorrow. One, two, three, strong body! Today we're gonna start with our upper body day. So um, today we're gonna target our biceps, <laughs> our triceps, our shoulders, and our core. Oh, back and front. <laughs> Perfect, I love it. So, so making sure you get back and front. We're gonna do a warm up first, which we're gonna go ahead and show you, so you'll have to join along with us. And then the workout, what it is, is it's called a change your pace upper body workout. So what it is, girls do it with me, okay? So for five reps, so for you're gonna act like you're doing a bicep curl in midair. So for five reps, you're gonna go nice and slow. It's gonna go one, two up, one, two down. Notice where my elbows are, they're not back here. My elbows are in, locked into like where my rib cage is. One up, slow down, perfect. That's for five reps. At the very end, we're just gonna speed it out. You can call them pulses or you can call them just speeds, whatever you wanna do, and that's for a total of 10. So that pace we're doing for our biceps, our triceps, our shoulders, and our core today. So go ahead and follow us and we're gonna show you how that looks. So we're gonna start with a warm up. We're gonna go both arms and we're gonna go circles for 10. It's all right, Stacy's putting on gloves, don't worry. No worries over here. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna wait for Stace. I did do, I did do them already. She, okay good. Yeah, I did see that, I did see that. I love your hair and that whole outfit right now. I know, so cute. Okay, now reverse, so she's gonna go forward. We're gonna go back. Now you're gonna go alternating. So one goes forward and one goes back. Good, and then reverse. Good, take your hands out to the side, twist your thumbs to the back, and bring your arms back. You're gonna feel a nice good stretch through your biceps right there. Then you're going to flip your thumbs down, twist them as high as you can back, and bring your arms back. A nice good bicep stretch there. Shoulders too. So now we're just gonna go into a tricep stretch. Um, you can kind of be in movement here. So usually dynamic stretching, what that means is movement stretching. So just kind of going back and forth. So dynamic stretching? Yeah. So instead of static, which you're holding, right? You wanna stay in movement, thinking about blood flow rather than just like going too deep into that stretch. So that's good for any time you do any workouts like that. Yeah, so anytime you're like be uh, beginning like workout, you always wanna have like something that's like in movement, you know what I mean? Like kind of like moving the body and like getting it ready. So like a light cardio or something like that, right? Okay, so I'm gonna have you grab, see that tiniest bar right over there that says it's in the 90 spot? Some warm ups here, okay? So we're gonna start with our hands together and you're gonna give me three, okay? So just right up to your chin and down. Good. Now you're gonna open your hands up to about shoulder distance now for three. And nice and wide for three. Perfect, those are great. Beautiful. Now let's do five clean and presses. So bring your hands about neutral here. Bend your knees slightly, keep your core nice and tight. So watch my elbows first, elbows up and then down. Beautiful, press it up, drop down, drop down. Good, you got four more. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful, drop those weights. The first round is conventional, which means that your palms will be facing up towards the sky. So we're gonna go for a total of two. So one, two. One, two, beautiful. Keep your core nice and tight and your knees slightly bent. Good, nice and slow. When you get to five, let me know. 
Is this five? Perfect. Now we're gonna go quick up, slow down. One, two, three. Quick up. Good, three more. Make sure you're breathing. Good, now 10, as fast as you can, down and up. Try not to sway your body, keep your core nice and tight. Beautiful job. Awesome. You're going to drop one weight, elbow nice and snug up to your waist, right into your uh, rib cage, and we're just going to go hammer. So one, two, one, two, for five. No twisting. Hips. Beautiful. Now we're going to go quick back, slow up, twist. One, two, three. Quick. And now let's speed for ten. Push it out. Push. Make sure you're breathing. Two. Good. When you're done there, switch arms. Those look perfect, by the way, you guys. Filling it. Okay, bring that elbow up. Nice and tight. Squeeze the back of the arm. And down. Dumbbells up to your shoulders, twist it out, and you're gonna open it up. Good, you're gonna go ahead and press up. You can tap up at the top and then bring down. You have a total of five, nice and slow. Keep your core nice and tight, which it is, and your knees slightly bent. Good. Is that five? Now quick up, oh, there, that's five. Now quick up and slow down. One, two, three, quick up. Slow down, one, two, three. One, two, three. Big stay. And for 10. All the way down, all the way up. Push, push, breathe here. drop one weight, bring one weight with you, and we're gonna go over to our sit-ups. So Stacey, I'm gonna have you give us a little bit of a modification, and Suzanne, you and I are gonna go all the way down, all the way up, right? Um, so we're gonna be using the same pace for this one, keeping your dumbbell nice and tight right here, rather than moving it forward and back, all right? So go ahead and bring it slowly back, and here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two more. Good. Now we're gonna go quick up. Slow back. One, two, three. Quick up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. Last one. Oh, we're burning over here. Now, pulse it out for 10. Suzanne's kicking 
of my trash over here. We did it, we did first round, we got two more. Girls, we're on round two, so pay attention. The muscle groups are switching up with the exercises, so follow us. Okay, all right, so hammer curl. We got one, two, one, two. Your form looks perfect, I can see out of the corner of my eye. Perfect, yeah. Three. Four. And five, beautiful, let's go quick up. And slow. One, two, three. Shh. Really top into those biceps. You don't want anything else working except for just those biceps. Bend your knees a little bit more if you feel your lower back. Last one. Shh. Now give it all she's got. Beautiful. All right, let's go into triceps. Drop the one. So this one we're gonna be turning our palms up towards the ceiling. So bring that elbow back. And you're gonna rotate your palm up towards the sky. Good, and back down, nice and slow. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Perfect. We get five, go into your quick and slow. And now speed for ten. Probably to hold everything, maybe it's a secondary. Yeah. Try filling it a little bit. Try to relax a little bit and put most of your focus into relaxing your body and just that arm. But yeah, it looks good. Probably a lot of it too because your form, your chest is up. So you're kind of sinking down yeah. into it probably. Cool. Alright, here we go. Palm up. Perfect. So palm. This or no. Skip on this. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. your palms facing towards each other. Perfect, bend those knees, tighten your core, and let's go slow, one, two. The girls are using 10 pounds, and I am too. Um, eight pounds if you can't do the full, the full amount, or five pounds if you need a little bit lighter. You can always kind of listen to your body, make sure your form is good. If it is, and you can advance in weight. And press for 10. Oh my God. Ah, get him up there, get him up there. Let it burn, let it burn. Woo! So for core, we're gonna be doing our obliques. Notice we're all gonna be doing three separate workouts here. So pay attention, you'll be able to see the fun ones on these. Yeah. So as you'll 
you'll notice with Stace, she's doing, um, she's lifting her shoulder blades up off the mat and she's going nice and slow and then she's doing her quick slow. So she's doing all of her pace and she was going back and forth, squeezing through her, her obliques. Suzanne over here is lying completely flat, flat down and she's using um, her obliques to lift her up. So at first she was doing her slows, her quick slows, and then her speeds for 10. Where I'm at, I'm going to be up into a side holding plank where I'm dipping with the same pace. And then we're gonna rotate to the other side. Look perfect. So you're going to start with your palms facing to the back of you and what you're going to do is you're going to bring your elbows into your side as you rotate your palms up towards the sky and then you're going to bring them down and twist out and go back. So not keep the elbow, or elbows out here like you normally would bicep curls, right? So when you come up you would keep your elbows more like locked into like your rib cage. Mm -hmm. Cool. Awesome. So here we go. Nice and slow. We got a total of five. One, two. One, two. Good. That nice, good rotation is going to get those arms nice and defined and make them nice, lean, and small. Good. Now we're going to go into a quick up and go nice and slow through that negative. Jay is dancing. He doesn't realize we don't have music. Okay, and let's go speed for 10. Here we go. Oh, burning. Ah, how we doing, how we doing? Seven, eight. Oh, we made it, woo! That's calm down, here we go, nice and slow. One, two. One, two. Hold up at the top. Yeah, it does. Good. Let's go quick up. Slow down. And let's pulse it out. Puppy out. <laughs> All right, other side. Here we go. Elbow up and palm back. Nice and slow. Good. Quick up. Slow back. Pulse it out, here we go. Keep breathing. Girls are missing out on this one. Woo! We're dying. That's a great round, girls. 
So this last one for shoulders, you may know it as the Arnold Press. So what it is, first bend your knees, tighten your core. You're gonna go into a hammer, no, but notice when you come up, your hands are gonna go away from you and then come back down, okay? All right, here we go, nice and slow. <clears throat> one, two, one, two. Good, let me take a look. Beautiful, good, perfect. You guys are naturals over here. Quick up, slow down. And pulse it out. Here we got 10. Woo! They get ya. I like how Suzanne's adding a little bit of some knees. That actually is a modification to really help you get those last ones up. No worries. Good one. So our last one for core, it's a bicycle with a twist. So when you come down, you can do a modification with your feet up here or advance with your feet lower, making sure that your lower back doesn't lift up. You really want to make sure that your chest is nice and open, so try to keep your elbows nice and wide for this one. Don't hurt yourself, Stace. Perfect. All right, so bring those knees up and bicycle. Here we go. Nice and slow. One, two. One, two. That's three. Four. And five. Beautiful. Quick. Quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Shh. Oh, it's burning. Shh. And 10, here we go. started working out, I only did full body movements. Pretty much the same workout, but I would do it like repetitively. It's because I didn't really understand the difference of working out. For example, today was an upper body day. I didn't really understand like, well, what could I just do for my biceps, triceps, and shoulders? Now you guys know, right? Yeah. So what ended up happening is, have you ever heard of overdoing your workout? When you burn your muscles out, for example, our biceps, triceps, and our shoulders, now that we've worked those muscles, now they need time to repair. So once you challenge them, allowing them to recover, because what ends up happening, if you keep going on top of sore muscles over and over, you're actually doing more harm than good. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's, that's why it's very important to make sure you're spacing your schedule out and kind of listening to your body as well. When somebody's new to working out, it kind of depends. Maybe they need a good while to kind of let their body recover from that, right? Did you guys remember when you guys first started working out? And the first workout, you're like, exactly, like a one day a week. And now, I mean, Stacy's over here, how many days a week are you now? Five days a week. So five days a week, right? So she has to go in and tell her, one of the, best, the biggest things I would ever ask my clients is say, where are you sore? Because if the day before, let's say they were pretty sore, like in their glute region, well, let's not hit glutes again. Let's let that area heal up. And now let's go for upper body and then the inner thighs to now balance that part out, right? You're doing all abductor, so now let's go for adductor and really even everything out. Does that kind of make sense there? Yeah. Sore body today is a strong body tomorrow. So let's get strong together. One, two, three, strong bodies!